Comment camarade tes fils Bienvenue dans une deuxième émission de Zougadier. Comment nous promettons de nous donner une page Facebook de Zougadier Nous prenons une invité surprise de nous plateau aujourd'hui. Et sans plus tarder, je vous présente de nous invité du jour, my big brother, Derek David. How are you, my brother? Hello, Derek, how are you? I'm good, thanks. And how are you? I'm fine, thank you. So, last week was the first and the classic one in Morpheus for you. How did you feel? Winning the, the race? Yeah, it was an amazing feel. Um, it's my first classic, as you as you did say. Um, the feeling is still hasn't kicked in as much. Um, I'm just fortunate enough to to be given the opportunity to ride such a horse as as White River. Um, a big thanks once again to the owners, to Mr. Ramesh Gajida, Subu, Dario, all the team. I mean, they did all the work, I picked up the ride a couple of days before the race and what a horse is really, really, really something special. Uh, I think the Mauritian public have to take him in, in enjoy him, um, because he's, he's, an, he's, he's, a special, he's something special. Okay. So, you are here since 2013, you've been riding here for Vincent Stable and now you're back in 2019, again for Vincent Stable, you're here for six years already. Uh, how do you feel racing in Mauritius? Yeah, I'm back home. Um, I, I find that uh, Vincent and I had a great season uh, 2013. We end up with 37 winners. Um, we make a good team. He's, he's a great trainer. He's a good horseman. Um, and I feel that we, we bond really well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm back home this year. Uh, it, feels, it just feels right uh, being, being at the Vincent Alec Racing Stable. Um, and, and being back in Mauritius, um, my wife's Mauritian, my daughter's Mauritian, and this is our home. We, we, we've made Mauritius our home, and who doesn't want to live on Paradise Island? So for, for Emotion Jockey, the biggest achievement for them is to win the champion, championship here in Mauritius as Jockey. So you've done it in 2015 with Gilda uh, Rochette Stable. How, how was the, the moment after winning the championship? Yeah, you know, 2015 was a special year for me. Um, the Hall of Fame, um, my marriage, um, every, the championship, everything just went right in 2015. Uh, the horses that I was riding at Shulberry Set Stable were above class to anything else. Um, it made my job a lot easier riding horses of that caliber. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a special year. It's a year I'll never forget. Winning a championship anywhere around the world. I mean, I've won championship in South Africa, uh, won championship here yeah, now, and, and it's just something that goes into a jockey's CV. And then it means something. I mean, to, to be ahead of everyone else, going for the same same achievement, and you end up on top. I mean, it's, it's everyone's goal in life. Yeah. If it's horse racing, if it's in the work life, if it's a soccer player, everyone wants to be the best at what they do. And I was just fortunate enough to be given the opportunity and the right horses to prove myself. So, till now, uh, in how many countries did you ride? Well, I've ridden in South Africa, Zimbabwe, Mauritius, Bahrain, Dubai, uh, Singapore. Um, yeah, I've, I've ridden in a couple of countries and it's, it's, it's been a good, my career has been really good to me. Um, I thank the horse. Uh, without the horse underneath me, I, I wouldn't be where I am today and I wouldn't be the person I am today. Um, it's been a great journey the last 15 years of my racing career. And, and I don't think it's going to stop here. I, I, still, I still see myself traveling to, to bigger countries. Um, but Mauritius is always going to be my home. Yes, I come back to Mauritius is going to be where I finish my career, where I, as I said to you off air, where, where I want to start something where I'm I'm training kids of Mauritius how to ride, how to become jockeys, how the, the lifestyle. Everyone thinks it's all glamour and all lamla. The hard work that goes into being a jockey, the, the cleaning of the horse, the passion to love a horse. A lot of kids want to get into it to, for the money, for the lamla. It's, it's more than that. You, you, you have to love the horse. You have to love what to do. You actually have to love it so much that you'll sleep in the box with the horse. Uh, you cry when a horse dies. I mean, it's, it is so much more to it than just 
getting on my horse, riding and, and being in the limelight. So that's where I see my next 10 years heading is heading where I want to be in Mauritius, teaching the young Mauritian kids how to ride. So for 2019, what are your objectives? Well, I've come back for Vincent, uh, as you did mention. It, he's, he's a small stable. He, we, do, we don't have many horses. Um, we just want to have winners. I want the owners to be happy. I, I want I want Vincent to have a good season again. He deserves it. He's had a he's had a rough ride the last four years, and he deserves a good season. And and I'm here to, to try and help him have that season. Um, I'm also here to to show the Mauritian people that Derek David wasn't a fluke of 2015. I can ride. I'm going to show you I can ride. And everyone else riding at Champ de Mars, just be careful. So why do you like riding in Mauritius, not in other countries? Uh, well, the passion of the people, eh? The, 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 the passion is, is surreal. I've been, I mean, I said I've ridden in Dubai, I've ridden in Singapore, and the people don't have this passion. The Mauritian people are horse crazy, and for me, I love it. Anybody that's horse crazy, I love. I could sit and have a conversation with you, for hours just to talk about horses and that's that's why I come back the passion the the love for horse racing is, is phenomenal and you don't get that anywhere uh, okay I see you get it in Hong Kong Japan but other than that there's no passion like Mauritius Mar the, the Mauritian public and the Mauritian fans of horse racing they really go all out and show their support for jockeys for trainers for the horses and it's, it's, it's really nice to see. Okay. So you, you've been here for, like I said earlier, for six years. You already reached 160 winners in Mauritius. And you have won your first race last week for Ramesh Ragnar stable. When will you be winning for your stable? Well, hopefully tomorrow. Um, you know, as I said, we don't have a, a, a big string. Um, Vincent has put his trust in me to, to get him the winners, so I'm hoping that it comes on the board fast. It's always good to get that first winner out the way, but then it's even better to get the first winner for the stable out the way. Um, owners have big expectations in me, and I just have to prove them right, that they, they put their trust in me, and I, I need to get out the way fast. Tomorrow needs to be the day where I have a winner for, for Vincent at next races. So, how we can see, every... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even Friday, you went for training. You love horse, like when you ride in the training. So tell us more about after training session. Well, I, I get home at around 8.30. I've got a two-year-old daughter, Mila, uh, at home. Um, so there's no time for sleep. Uh, if you think riding horses or being a jockey is hard, I have a child. Um, she keeps us busy. So I get home, I have a shower, and then it's all to do with her and my wife. I give my family a lot of my time. Uh, I don't believe in going to play golf or going to spend time alone. I want to spend as much time as possible with my family, with my wife, with my daughter, and and then I do that. Uh, so I get home at around 8.30, I have a quick shower, and then we, we do anything that she wants to do. If she wants to go play, we go play. Um, we go to the shops, we go to La Cuisette. We spend a lot of family time together, the three of us. So Derek? Uh, like you said earlier, you won so much races in Mauritius. Uh, you're, not, you're not only a horseman, but also a family man. Like you said, you love your family. You like spending spending time with them. So, what will be Derek in five years' time? Uh, as, as I said earlier, Derek in ten years' time. Five years' time, I'm still young. I'm, I'm 31 years old. Uh, I think I've got a lot of career ahead of me. Um, touch wood, please God. Uh, injury wise I can carry on riding for the next 10, 12, 15 years um, but it's all in his hands if everything goes according to plan um, I really want to as I said I want to train Mauritian kids not only how to ride horses how to look after a horse how to have a passion for the horse not get on the horse gallop, 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 get off, go home I want them to have a passion for horse racing for riding, not only for horse racing I find that there's a bit of a lack of the passion for the horse racing, the passion for the horse riding. Um, it's one thing just to get on and race and go around the track and earn some money. It's another thing to feel the horse, to feel the love for the horse, to 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 actually love the horse. It's, it's like any animal. You treat a dog well, he'll protect you forever. You treat a horse well, he'll give you 
everything. Coming back to your first win in Mauritius with uh, White River, you know White River won the Classic, and when when a jockey win before winning the Classic, how is it at the stable, the owners, the, the trainer, what he tells you? You know, I take every race as it comes. Uh, I don't put myself under pressure. I believe if you put yourself under a lot of pressure out there, you will make mistakes. And a little mistake could not only cost you the race, but it could cost someone else an injury or even death in, in some serious occasions. So I believe that yes, the owners have pressure, the trainers got pressure. I can't afford to put myself under any pressure. So before a 020 race or a classic race, I'm exactly the same. I go out with a clear mind. I know my job. My job is to ride to win. My job is to go out there, give my best. And if I keep my head at that attitude, nothing should go wrong in the race. So David, we'll start with the first race analysis, okay? Okay. So, first race, the Malauti plate, we have 10 runners. Number one, Anza Borigo. Number two, Radlet. Number three, Majestic Moon. Number four, Let You Fly. Number five, Refined Bachelor. Number six, Gondwana. Number seven, In The Trenchers. Number eight, The Bowdo War. Number nine, It's My Party. Number 10, Bobby's Express. A direct Refined Bachelor from your stable. You, yeah. you, you've seen it? I have seen him. I don't know the source too well. Um, Dinesh Shuffle does a lot of work back at my stable and, and he's done a lot of work on especially this horse. Um, so I can't, I can't really tell you much about him. Um, he looks to have struggled last season. These 0 20 races, 990, are very, very difficult to try to play. The horses are in a lot lower class and, and they're battling. That's why they're in, in classes of this caliber. Um, if I go through the race very briefly, it's my party as the right form over 990. Um, and then you got that new horse, Anza Borrego. If he's any good, he should beat a field like this because just on the fact that it's, it's a bad field. Uh, and he's, he's done well on the field uh, in South Africa. Oh, yeah, in South Africa, he's had, I think he's had um, nine starts, four places. Yeah. Um, and, and he's run behind some nice horses, Valdery. Rocky Coast, all places behind horses that have come out to win again. So on those forms in a thousand meters, draw three, if he's 70% fit, he should beat a field like this. But if he's not ready, it's my party looks the right horse to go for. Okay. We'll go for the second race, the Owners' Cup. We have 10 runners. Number one, Chester's Wish. Number two, Varsai. Number three, Captain Moss. Number four, Mind Blowing. Number five, Till Down. Number six, gold medalist. Number seven, Alfred Renze. Number eight, Dealer's Charm. Number nine, Rebel Alliance. And number ten, Napoli. Dealer's Charm here? Yeah, you know, this is a very, very tricky race. There's uh, three horses that ran in the same race um, on international, actually four horses that ran in the same race on international day. Varsad, Till Dawn, Alfred Renze and Dealer's Charm. Uh, between Varsad, Till Dawn and Dealer's Charm, they all ran really close. I mean, there was a millimeter, 10 centimeters between them. Um, if you look at collateral form line and horses that usually make the natural improvement, Till Dawn looks like the right horse in the race. Um, I see they've put uh, blinkers and tongue tie on this horse, mind blowing for Joubert set, which they thought highly of when he first came here. Uh, if any of these two horses have made the right improvement, they would be the right horses for the race. Vars side is very ultra consistent. His last four starts, he's had top truckies on board with Manuel Nunes and Maxine Kuyong. Um, uh, Dealer Sham, he ran a cracker last time. He's got a good draw and, and he'll, be, he's a, he'll be a place chance. Uh, can he beat horses like Till Dawn? I'm there trying, but I think it'll be difficult. Uh, you ride him in the train, Dealer Sham? I've worked him a little bit, not too much, um, but I've given him a couple of gallops. He's a, he's a nice horse, he's a big strong horse. He can handle himself, he's got a good draw. As I, as I just said, if this horse, till dawn, has made the natural improvement, I think it'll be very difficult to beat, to beat him. Okay. We'll move on to the third race, the Joseph Meva Cup, with 10 runners. Number one, Melson. Number two, Power Tower. Number three, Amritsar. Number four, Down Under. Number five, Gamma. Number six, Middle March. Number seven, Midnight Oracle. 
number eight, Power of Peace, number nine, Bypass, and number ten, Uncle JB. Here are you riding Amritsar, how you? He's an arsehole. Um, if you look at his win on the international meeting, he, he won a big race. He, he showed he's got a bit of potential and he's improved, I believe, since last season. Um, it's a funny field, this. You got Midnight Oracle and you got Down Under. I make as my two, two biggest dangers. Uh, down Under's come down big in class. I mean, in a couple starts back last year, he ran second to Awe which is 51 and 56 rated races. Um, so he's come down really nasty in class. He's got the draw, draw one. Um, Midnight Oracle, him and Amit Star are the same kind of form line. So if you have to go for three or four horses in that race, it will be between Amit Star, Down Under and Midnight Oracle. Okay. We're going to the fourth race. Uh, we have eight runners. Number one, Mudzi. Number two, Newlands. Number three, Rule the Night. Number four, Ocean Drive South. Number five, Riding Shotgun. Number six, Core of Angels. Number seven, Magzamo. Number eight, Strip Bouncer. Strip Bouncer here yeah, with a first drop. Yeah, he's, he's, getting, he's getting on with age. He's, he's eight years old now and he's, he's done really well for Vincent. He's a six time winner. Um, five of them have been on, a th uh, on the 1000 or 990. So, so it is his distance. Um, this, play, this race for me splits up into two halves. Mutsi, Newlands, Rule the Night, Choir of Angels. All need more than 1400. Then you get Ocean Drive South, Riding Shotgun, Maximo and Street Bouncer, which love the 990. A horse like Ocean Drive South, he's had two starts over 990 and won them both. Maximo, he, he really enjoyed his last two starts. Okay. He's, he should be a three-time winner, but he's only a two-time winner because of the disqualification. And both wins, both of his last two wins were ultra impressive over the 990. So it's it's between four horses, between Ocean Drive South, Riding Shotgun, Maximo and Street Bouncer. Here with the first draw, like you said, 990 meters. If you can settle it in the race in front. You know, it's, it's going to be hard to get him to the front. Horses like Maximo has lots of pace. Riding shotgun has a bit of pace. Ocean drive south has a bit of pace, but Quick going race. back to draw one yes. is always a big advantage yes. because you there, yes. they have to come around you. They you, they have to work to get to your position. So that makes a big difference, especially in these 990 races down the hill. Um, but it's going to be very interesting because there's those four that I see are going to be in front of the back, and if we go too fast. Horses like Mutsi, Newlands, Choir of Angels could fly up and, and come catch us late, but yeah, it's going to be interesting. Okay. For the fifth race, we have eight runners. Number one, Dance on Air. Number two, Act of Rarity. Number three, Racing for Fun. Number four, Cool at Heart. Number five, Opera Royale. Number six, Charleston Hill. Here for Vincent uh, Stable, you have two runners. Last time you rode uh, Charleston Hill. Now this time you're riding Cool at Heart. Yeah. You, you choose the right? Or yes. Um, Charleston Hero ran a good third last week. He's going to improve from the run. He's the only horse in the race that had a run this season. So that's always a massive help because he will be the fittest horse in the race. Um, cool at Heart is a really nice horse. He's a big strong boy. Um, it's a very, very competitive field. Act of Loyalty has good form. Racing for Fun has great form over the 1450. Opera Royale. It might be a little bit too short for him, but he's also a really nice horse. So it's it's a very open race, and I know this horse, Dance on Air, when he came out last year, they thought highly of him. When he ran behind Yankee captain, Al Mariachi, split the breeze, they thought he was going to go on and win races. He, he battled a bit, uh, they put the blinkers back on him. Um, so it's very open. Um, a lot of people are making cool at heart to be the banker, the banker of the day, yeah. but it's, it's way more open open than that if you go deep into studying act of loyalty, draw to. He's, he's, he's a hard knocker. He's always first or second, first or second. There's nothing wrong with his form at all. Um, racing for fun also. If the pace is really good, he'll fly at the finish. And he's actually, this horse has come to beat me a couple of times last year and the year before. So he's also a nice horse. So if you're playing your exotics, you have to put a, almost the whole field in the face. Yes. Yeah. Difficult race here. Very yeah. difficult. Difficult to choose like one. You know, I, I go with my heart and yeah. I say 
cool and hot yeah. because he's because your heart is cool because my heart is cool and and he's he's, he's a nice horse he's, he's a big boy and but don't be fooled by that it's a one horse race act of loyalty racing for fun opera royal charleston era all have their chances we'll go for the six race here we have seven runners number one bariton number two carol number three ten grand salute number four seventh plane Number five, I'm Mariachi. Number six, Dream Forest. Number seven, Wave Breaker. Here you're not riding. You have seen these horses in yeah, training? I have seen them in training and I've studied this, this race quite uh, intense. It's a tough field. There, there's group one horses, Barrett, Cara, Ten Gun Salute, Al Mariachi, Seven Plane. They're all running the top, top division races. Um, it's a tough race. Uh, Al Mariachi's got a lot of pace. Wave Breaker's got a lot of pace. There's going to be pace. If the pace is on, a horse like Barrington is going to fly. A horse like Ten Gun Salute, it's going to, it's going to suit horses suit like pace, that. Yeah. If Al Mariachi gets an easy lead, it will be very hard for them to catch him uh, with 56 and a half kilos. Um, so you have to, Barrington, Cara, Ten Gun Salute, Al Mariachi and Wave Breaker. If I have to put my head out for two, would be Barrington and Al Mariachi. If you have got the chance here to pick a ride, which one you you have to choose? Barrington. Barrington? Why? Uh, I, I like this horse from last year. The way he runs and the way he quickens, and he loves running fresh. Uh, the way he won the Duchess last year was impressive. It actually reminded me a lot of uh, White River where he just carried yeah. on running to the line. Um, he's a really, really nice horse. I mean, he's, he's a Group 1 winner. Yes. Any horse that wins a Group 1 and wins a Group 1 as well as he's won Group 1s, you can't just ignore them. He's had eight runs, three wins and four places. Everything's there. Uh, Jean-Michel and Cedric are in top form. They had two winners last week. So everything for me points to Barrington. Okay. We'll move on to the seventh race. We have ten runners. Number one, Golden Sound. Number two, Vision of Trust. Number three, Wow Holiday. Number four, Kudu Two. Number five, Shopaholic. Number six, World Dreamer. Number seven, Ashford Legacy. Number eight, Hometown Hero. Number nine, what a fees. Number ten, Mr. Vengeance. Here yeah, you're riding Kudu too? You ride any tough running? I do do a lot of work on the source. He's been very disappointing for everyone, the stable, the owners. His work at home is really good, but he doesn't bring his best foot forward at the races. Um, his first run in Mauritius was really, really good. Second to Zodiac Jack. And he just hasn't, hasn't progressed from there. Um, once again, it's an open, open field. You actually got me on your show with a really hard card tomorrow. Um, there, there's a lot of horses. Firstly, if you take the three first timers, Gordon Star, home, Hometown Hero, and what a fizz. They're all decent horses in South Africa. They've all run good races in South Africa. And if any of them are fit, this Hometown Hero for me sticks out, out of the three of the first timers. Um, Kudutu's got his chance. Vision of Trust, a nice horse, loves the 990. He ran third and second over it. Um, Will Dreamer from draw one. He's got lots of pace. Last time he just got tired over the 1400. I think he'll prefer the 990 better. And yeah, it's, it's, it's again, it's a race where again, you have yeah, to, a difficult race. Very difficult. Yeah. There's number one, number two. Even number three, while well, Holiday, his last win was over 990. Number four, Kudu two. He's got the ability to thrash a field like this, but he just needs to put his foot forward to do it. Uh, World Dreamer and hometown, hometown era. Okay. So we already had the eighth race, the stud monster plate, with nine runners. Number one, Cyber Special. Number two, Sir Keepers. Number three, Xantus. Number four, Red Indy. Number five, Man from Seattle. Number six, Blazing Heart. Number seven, Charles My Boy. Number eight, Never Fear. Number nine, Whiskey Rambo. So, Charles, my boy? Charles, my boy is, is Charles, my boy. He's, he's a 0 20, 0 25 horse. He's, he's won a race over 0 20. Um, for me, my eye just goes to one horse in this race. Number one, okay. Cyber Special. He's run behind. Big runner, yeah. ATAB. He's run behind Sukrat. Those two horses have won the Cape Derby and the Cape Guineas in South Africa. Just running second and third to horses of that caliber he should walk this field um, his barrier trial was really good i think 
if you're looking for a bank of the day, that is your horse to look at. If he does, if he does fluff his lines, Zantos, man from Seattle, they'll be right there. But horses like Zantos and man from Seattle to be a horse like Cyber Special, I think, will be really difficult. Okay. So for for the eight ways, what do you think the horses to be followed for tomorrow? Um, well, for, for myself, out of my rides, I, I like Cool at Heart is my best. Um, and then Cyber Special, Barrington, um, yeah, uh, it's my party in the first. I think all are, all should win. Um, but as I said, it's, it's tough racing tomorrow and the public must just be careful. So we already at the end of our show. We would like to thank you very much, Derek, for being here, for being part of our team, Sugadea. So, do you have anything to say to the public here who love you a lot? Yeah, just thank you very much. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for the trust you put in me and for the passion you guys show. Uh, on a Saturday to see kids, women, men scream my name, it just gives me the thrive to push more, it gives me the it gives me the excitement to go to, to to give more. I'm here to ride for the Mauritian public. It's been like that since day one. I am here for you. Come support me, come scream me home and you won't be disappointed. Thank you very much Jay. Before we finish I would like to ask you if in the future you get the if we get the chance to have you here again on our show, will you be there? I will be here. Um, I, I think what you guys are doing is really great for the sport. Uh, any promote, any promotion towards horse racing is good. Um, we need it. Horse racing needs you. Horse racing needs you guys at home to come out to give us your full support. The Mauritian people have the passion. Let's let's get the fire back. Let's get the fire going. Let's come out in numbers and come show your support. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Et Van Camarade Tuffis, pour moi, le petit Jésus, au commencement, nous invité spécial, Lila, je viens de trouver une fait nous mieux pour nous gagner Derek David, en tant qu'il y a un jeu qui est bien difficile pour nous gagner, nous plateau, mais nous faisons le maximum, nous l'équipe du Gardien, nous faisons le maximum pour nous gagner aujourd'hui. Et me tenir à remercier nous l'équipe à la réalisation. Van Camarade qui travaille beaucoup, surtout au niveau du training, qui nous fait de gros travail. Et surtout là, nous, Van Camarade qui est là, présent. Et nous tiens à tenir à remercier encore une fois bien Spice qui recevons nous aujourd'hui. Et c'est que Moka a dit bonne chance pour demain. Et comme a dit Derek David Dinjazut, peut-être la première Nipoka a gagné cette semaine-là pour ce stable, Vincent Alet. Let's wish him luck in the future. And like you said before, he's been here for 2015 Jockey Championship. Why not this year again? Let's hope for the best for him. Okay, David? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.